Lesson 8, January 24, 2016. Unit 2 starts us off with saying four weddings and a funeral. And the highlight is saving the best for last. Devotional reading, Matthew 5, 12, 16. Background scripture, John 2, 1 through 12. Print passage, John 2, 1 through 12. Our key verse is, Said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. That was the King James verses. Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. That is from the NIV. Our lesson aims today. As a result of experience this lesson, the students should be able to do these things. Number one, understand that Jesus performed his first miracle in the lives of ordinary people when he met an important hospitality need at a wedding. Number two, reflect on the meaning and practice of hospitality. Number three, practice ways in which to demonstrate hospitality at weddings and other occasions. Verse 1, King James, John 2, 1 through 4. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they had wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Verse 5. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with wine with water, and they filled them up to the brim, and he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. Insert. This miracle just performed by our Lord Jesus Christ, turning water into wine. This is the first miracle of his earthly ministry carried out at the wedding feast of Canaan, of Galilee. 9. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, they would have sampled. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth the good wine, and when men have well drunk, then they that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. The beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him all the more. And after this he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren, and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. NIV, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from. Though the servants had drawn the water, they knew. Then he called a bridegroom aside and said, 
Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the, ga the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. Verse 11. This, the first of his miraculous signs, Jesus performed at Cana of Galilee. He thus revealed his glory, and his disciples put their faith in him. What do you think? Have you ever focused so much on the amount of blessing that you missed the exactness of the blessing, especially the rich quality? Our closing thought for this lesson is God has a way of showing up right on time. He gives us the best right when we are at the end of our rope. Have you been in a situation where it seems that God had let you down and the first person that you call on is the Lord. Save me, O Lord, from this tragedy and etc and etc the Lord Jesus believed that he is get the needed break through and our reassurance to persevere through whatever trials may arise your life acknowledge a specific issue in your life call on the Lord with a specific request move in faith and listen carefully for the answer your world connect with other believers seek God for guidance and activate your faith in an area that will benefit others there you have it the lesson for January 24 given out from the quarterly Faith Password Passway by Minister Charles Wheelers. Our closing prayer is this. Father God, you have a way of showing up right on time. He gives us the best right when we are at the end of our rope. And just when it seems as though all hope is gone, those who seriously call upon the Lord and believe that He is get the needed break through and reassurance to persevere through whatever trials may arise. Father God, we thank You for the Word the sacred writ of the Bible. We believe and hope and pray that those who may not know the Lord have heard this message and act on it. His arms are always open for those who have not yet come. For example, in my own family, I got three sisters and a brother, and they are without. They're on the other side. Lord Jesus is saying, Come, I accept you as you are. You cannot make the needed changes in your flesh, but I would pray, hope that they would come, because I dread to even think about what will happen to them if they're not in the Lord, should they close their eyes down here. Thank you, Father God, for the message. All that we say and do, we ask in the precious name of Jesus Christ, for his sake. Amen, amen, amen. So ends the message.